okay today i am going to explain one of the errors which uh, generally come so many have requested that uh, can you record the session okay this is the error message in sto stock transfer order process in sap we are not possible to determine shipping data for material right this is a part so i want to demonstrate how to solve the error quickly okay so majorly this problem because uh, like if you are not managing the configuration of receiving plant with customer number all that details are not maintained properly then the shipping data issue will be there because if you see in sap configuration for the sto there are like three four configurations are there and from st side few configurations are there so i'm talking about mm side now okay so mm side if something is missing or missed out then how the system will behave right so let's uh, create one purchase order here okay so here I'm choosing document type UB. And then supplying plant. This is supplying plant for this particular material to purchase. And this is the purchase organization. All details I'm just copying the existing data. And here I'm going with the center electrode. This is a material to be procured from supplying plant where they manufacture this particular product for the spark plug. And this will be procured to this particular plant to the assembly purpose just imagine that is the process to be managed in the intra sto case okay so so if i enter here quantity all that see this is a problem not possible to determine shipping data for the material so this is the shipping data is not at all showing in the item level okay if i scroll down item level okay shipping data is not data mining you can see right there is no shipping data okay other all data is there okay now how to solve this simple you have to go through this configuration okay go to spro and get into the metal management node here and then after that purchasing under purchasing purchase order then under purchase order you have to go to stock transfer order Okay, STO set up this part. So majorly we have to work on these five configurations. Okay, define shipping data, create checking rule, define checking rule, then assigning that, assigning document type. These are the five steps to be followed. Okay, so first I will see the last step of the process, which is assignment of document type once the procedure under, under delivery tolerance, all that. I'm just going with this. And here I'm just checking this combination of supplying plant and receiving plant is rightly managed or not. Okay. So first I will see here the plant details and all I'll just take from the system. I just missed out to add that one. Let's take this is the plant, right? DPG3. Okay, this is the plant and dpg1 is the supplying plant okay i'll just check this combination is there or not okay this combination is there so i'll take, take the screenshot of this particular configuration okay just take, take, take this configuration screenshot for the reference and here it is two step not one step if it is checked that is one step this is two step procedure okay so this is a combination of supplying plant and receiving plant dpg1 is supplying plant receiving plant is dpg3 and ub document type all that standard copied here okay this is good now come back here assign delivery type this combination you can see here for the document type configuration linkage because in the previously you did a document type then supplying plant and receiving plant all that combination and here you should find out for the supplying plant document type linkage with the deliver type here you can see nl4 intra stu and nlcc4 always inter stu and checking rule and all taken as standard from the system okay so these all things are good so i'll just take the screenshot here this is also good okay there's no problem with the configuration of these two Okay, these are the major configuration okay now i'll go back to another configuration is define shipping data for plant majorly problem will be here okay you 
you would have defined all the plant details like dgp1 and uh, dpg1 and G dpg3 these two are maintained here okay plant different plants if i open here okay this is the dpg1 is the supplying plant right so customer data is not required here you can see sales organization distribution all that here it is but customer master is not required when you get into this right dpg3 this is a receiving plant receiving plant always act as a customer for the supplying plant simple so always receiving plant you have to maintain the customer master data in this if nothing is maintained here everything blank then you have to maintain the customer master how to get the sales organization role you can get it from the material master level that sales organization is all maintained right if i take this material if i go to i'll just go to the metal master screen mm03 just enter this material and i choose this particular sales general data when i enter the uh, plant dpg3 okay then i choose the sales organization so there you can see this is the combination D, dpso and nse is the sales distribution channel is already maintained and also here in the metal mask level also it is extended for the sales organization level so just copy this and maintain here okay dpso and ns ns okay the ns only and billing i just copy this only and then save it once this data is maintained everything is picked up right this one this one and then save it so now the data gets stored in the particular cr and save it okay then go back to i'll not close the screen maybe need to come back and see the configuration okay just i'll close all other unwanted screens here then i'll get into me21 and me21 and i'll use the data here ub always take ub for the sto intra sto standard enter this data okay quantity and all then plant okay see when i entered all this data with the proper configuration is done then definitely now shipping data is triggering here see in shipping data what all things you are able to see always you have to observe this part of data when you create to so as to what and all things are coming delivery type this is a configuration right here you have managed delivery type and all right so that is coming here and then you are uh, managing shipping point dppp this is a shipping point maintained with respect to the the goods issues level means shipping point always link with this where supplying plant is supply the goods then always this is a shipping point for the supplying plant and delivery priority shipping condition loading group transportation group these are the data managed in the shipping conditions right so how where exactly you are managing this when you go back to this uh, logistics execution right so all that shipping data will be there i need to check that uh, under logistic execution shipping and here you can find copying taking this delivery just a moment okay here define shipping conditions right so this shipping condition 02 definitely defined here 02 is here see 02 is standard which is copying from getting from there how this uh, conditions are uh, managed it define shipping conditions by sales document type also this is sales document type shipping, shipping condition not uh, on the metal management side okay so here as i and shipping points also you can see For example you want to see the shipping uh, conditions 0 2 and then loading group is what is the loading group this is the loading group okay enter this uh, shipping conditions loading group and plant okay plant is this okay copy this and then check the link ac when you see here right shipping loading condition this is the one configuration you have to keep in mind so i am just adding this screenshot also in the document 
okay this much even i know about the configuration in the shipping determination part right this is the dpp is com coming based on this uh, configuration only okay keep this all informations ready with you whenever you do the con uh, configuration part or maybe you want to implement sto intra sto with different customized shipping point and all right always make sure so these are the things to be uh, collected from the or copied or mapped okay before getting to the configuration so here these are the informations are there that's it so i just went into these two things one is shipping conditions and then uh, shipping points and here also you can manage define loading groups and all here already we have used triple zero in is standard crane and all right so we normally go with this particular uh, loading group it depends on the uh, which uh, loading group you are using like forklift crane manpower manually or pump station whatever it is right you, you can define the loading groups accordingly then you can use it for the uh, uh, that configuration okay and other than that nothing we we'll use like this all about the goods receiving points in bond delivery if anything you are managing right here you are going to shipping point for the receiving point okay example now uh, uh, receiving plant is like dgp3 right then shipping point is dppp okay so the nothing is maintained here for the inbound delivery then you can maintain this particular combination okay you, here you can see right there are many combinations are there okay plant shipping point this is a plant and shipping point okay so this this is enough of, to understand about the sto process to get this particular details in this uh, screen and here you can see the customer master and all it picked up sales organization distribution channel division everything is picked up and uh, that's it okay and if you want to know about uh, uh, how to create delivery and all you can uh, i will just show it if you want just i'll i'll save this particular the purchase order and then i'll copy this and i'll go and just create delivery number vl10b just pass the remove this dates okay remove everything just pass the purchase order number here and then execute then it should create a delivery here see this is the document generated okay background like you have to create the delivery in the background see now this is successful green and then you can see the details here right all this data and this is the document generated 8000018646 copy this and if you go back to the purchase order also there you can able to see the uh, outbound uh, delivery which is generated now okay so here if you display get into the purchasing order history history was not there before now it is generated this is a date which we have created the material document and if you want to uh, change something it will take you to this this screen and you can change it accordingly and when you are changing this things right you have to select the picking point how much number you have to pick from the particular goods issue see always you can see this dgp1 is the supplying plant which location you are going to uh, receive the uh, like issue the material RT rt01 then stock should be there right when you are uh, uh, issuing the goods right from the particular uh, plant let's check the stock first mmb and pass this material and this is the dpg1 plant and execute so that should be a stock 65 is there in this particular location this is central electrode stock is having 65 this is a finished goods will be supplied to the another plant right so here i am just checking this delivery quantity one and then i am just checking see now this overall status see this is wm managed right so if there is no wm then blank if any wm managed then you can see the wm managed okay partial process not yet process something uh, it will come here as a now i'm just clicking on post goods issue and this replenishment got saved means post goods issue is post uh, done so this is the data okay so how to see this is it one step or two step you have, you can see the moment types okay now i'll just uh, refresh this particular uh, order okay then just see the history of the particular purchase order here you can see 641 is the moment type 
you can see for the post goods issue of the material for the this much of cost now if i want to uh, receive the gi is done from the supply plant this plant is already removed the stock from the store location physically and issued outbound delivery post goods issue is done now the good will be coming to the receiving plant here physically then inventory guy in the receiving plant going to receive through the migo transaction simple so then you are adding this particular purchase order number or you can use the outbound delivery number so if you go here me23n okay this is the particular okay outbound delivery number right this is the number so i can receive with respect to the obd number okay so i just close this and i'll go to my go and i enter goods received with respect to the outbound delivery then i add this number outbound delivery number so system will give all the information for the material which how many numbers we are going to issue uh, is receive all that and which plant we are going to receive and we are going to store with respect to the respect to this will be raw material because not finished right finished for the supplying plant that's a central electrode now it is coming to our plant where we are going to use this for the particular assembly of another product which is finished so we are keeping this as a raw material okay we can issue for another assembly of the spark plug okay then you can just check it check everything okay then post it okay this document generated display this document once you generated this document then you just see the document info here fi documents no subsequent document will be there during the goods receipt of the particular material for the intra sto intra not inter okay so in case of uh like issuing time what document will generate that you can see here if you go to this particular document number see now this is the final uh like the structure of the uh, history so if i open this particular document right material document if i see here accounting document fi document so there will be accounting document will generate during the goods issue of the material where you can see two bsx entries will be there one is like the material will be removed from the particular supplying uh, plant and that will be received in the receiving plant okay so you can see here right this is a material billing document number amount everything that's it so this is a very important question in the interview uh, is there any accounting document will hit during the receiving of uh material in the intra sto nothing will generate but when you are issuing the goods from the respective uh, uh supplying plant and then one document will generate here accounting where you can see plus and minus here okay that's it we have solved the error shifting determination part and also shown the complete end to end activity of intra sto process thank you